Wagwan, my people on YouTube. So today is leg day, stimulant free week. This week, I'm not having any pre workout of any sort. All I'm going to have is my intro workout, which all of you been watching me recently has been. I don't even know where it is. Where, 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 where didn't put it at? Where, 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 where didn't put it at? Brazil top, no man. It's the tropical BCAAs alongside two scoops of Vitago. Vitago gives me constant energy throughout the workout. If you want to get some, head over to barkpowders.co.uk or .com and use my code Gable20 for 20% off. Anyway, head into the gym now. Leg day, let's get it. <laughs> Yes, two award winners. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Award winners. Yeah, Beats UK yeah. Fitness Awards. Excellent. We've done it. Excellent. We're, we're back to Brixton. <laughs> He's from, from um, somewhere, it, <laughs> London town somewhere. Two, two. I'm, I'm from somewhere. <laughs> from two. Yeah. <laughs> what? Is this a, a sneak peek of, of P1's YouTube oh, yeah. channel? Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at those sexy legs! <laughs> Look at all that sexiness! <laughs> you know what the madness is about deload weeks and having a stim free week is scare yourself psyched up to train. Normally, the pre workout does that, gets you out, you're ready, and that kind of thing, but it's also good to come off it sometimes because otherwise your body gets used to it. Kind of suppresses your own adrenal glands as well so you don't have that natural energy which is what it's lacking now so definitely needed definitely needed bro. boy hard hard to get ready Dilo's are a mind fuck. That's it. I don't even know. That felt difficult. Well, not difficult. I, I don't even know. Uh, turn the cameras off. <laughs> Alright, so what we've decided to do now is we're changing the name Deload. It's no longer a Deload week, it's now a Technique Speed week. Because I think Deload, people think that it's like. You know, a, a rest week. Whereas it's not a rest week, you're just trying to give your, your body a break from doing heavy, heavy load all the time. So you can still do the speed work. So the speed work is, you know, lightweight, just working on the reps, the speed of reps, and concentrating on making sure the movement pattern's right. So yeah, speed week. Hike, man. Yeah, hike. Release that true beast. Yeah. Let's see that. In an instant replay. All right, so basically this morning, every, every Monday morning, uh, ET normally puts out a motivational video and also I listen to his podcast as well whilst I'm doing my work. One of the things that he was saying is that winners win, losers lose. From that point, he was saying that losers don't play to win, they play to not lose. That was deep for me. I was like, because you see, because he, he used a football analogy and he said, Dallas Cowboys, they, they play to not lose because they get a lead and then they start holding back. They're like, oh, defense, defense, defense rather than you've got people like the Pittsburgh Steelers that they play to win. It's like they can be ahead, but they still want to win. And it's just like, that was mad for me, because I was just like... For me, I always said that, you know, winners will get what losers... Or winners do what losers don't do at mm. the end of the day. And the loser mindset will never get the same results as the winner's mindset, no matter what. Because they've always set themselves up already with these things like doubt, maybe, if, but. Mm. But the winner's mindset is right, you know what? I'm gonna go and get 
I'm gonna push, I know things are gonna come up, but I'm still gonna go. So they've, they've already um, premeditated the kind of drive already, the, the run through already with it. That's where my life role. I've got bare people around me, but why? Well, I'm thinking, just shut up and just do it. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. There's too much talking and not enough action. Yeah. Because when you start putting your ideas out on social media, and then I think, I think let me be real with you. I'm, let me be honest with you. I think the reason why a lot of people put their ideas out on social media, like I'm going to do this this year, New Year's resolution. I don't tell anyone about my thing, you know. But I think the reason why people put out, because they're, they're unsure themselves. So they want those retweets, they want those likes, they want those, yeah, um, big up fam, they want that encouragement from other people. They're always looking for other people to kind of feel their energy, mm. not knowing that it's their self-drive that's going to push them at the end of the day. So yeah, yeah. that's what comes down for me, man. Can't lie to you, bro. He pretty much just said everything that I was going to say. So, <laughs> yeah. But I will say, he's right. Winners don't think about losing, they think about winning. So they know the target's there and they just head for it. They don't think about nothing, they almost bought that. It's tunnel vision. It goes that way, they don't look left, right, they just go that way. Mm. So there could be all these distractions, they don't give a damn about that, they focus on what that is there. So that mean, that might mean cutting off certain things, but something like, like Terrell did say, it's when people that are in a situation to do better and they're complaining. Yes. They got all the tools around them to do whatever mm. and then they complain. Like, see people like that, I don't have time for them at all. Like, you're just lazy, innit? Yeah. It's just lazy. It's all about mindset. You're just lazy. You can't expect nothing to happen for you. You're gonna be lazy. I like, think off the back of that as well, it's kind of the, the whole um, fear. Fear can strike people in a way that it's, just, it's so it's so crippling. Yeah. Now, like like it's you know some people make excuses because they're lazy. Some people are literally scared. Some people scared are to, scared. Like, yeah. like yeah. you know to scared to invest money. Get to like, all right, so I've got these new products coming for the True Beast line. I've put every ounce of money into it, but I'm taking that risk. Have to take that risk, but then you've got some people who's like, oh no, I need to hold back a little bit for just in case. It was like, but there is no just yeah, in case. Yeah. The difference is with you, yeah, the reason why you, you're, you're doing that is because you know to yourself here yeah, that you're going to put all your time. No, it's not even that. You've planned out your year. You, you plan out what you want to do for the year. You've done it, broke it down monthly, weekly, and daily. And then you set up these minimal tasks that you do each day. Mm -hmm. These little minimal things that people think, ah, it's only little minor things. These minimal things that make a huge difference. Snowball minimal effect. things. Just like in the gym, everyone's quick to put on 20s and 20s and 20s and 20s and 20s. And 20s, and 20s. It's those 2.5s that make the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Those little ones you think, ah, yeah. them little, I don't eat it, yeah. wait, let me and put that, on that. That, that 2.5 could be anything in your life, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like little things like, you know, trust me, little things, bro. That's why we say, I always say that training is more than training. It's more yeah. than the muscle, the physique, the shot and all that. That's all good, we love it. But you take that mindset and you apply it to every area of your life. I'm talking about your relationship. I'm talking about your flipping business ventures. Anything that you do, bro, like it's literally, I'm talking to the camera, you're there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, I'm talking to you guys as well. But yeah, anything you like, you apply it, man. So yeah, help is well. Body, what, mind. Because what's mad is like, um, you see that there's certain people that I can't train with because even on like stuff like shoulder press, they're like, add a plate, add a plate, add a plate because a plate is trendy. A plate, you're you're looking at, they're looking at like the, the end goal of I wanna I wanna press I don't know 140 kilos above my head. So then they're jumping, jumping, jumping. Whereas if you just take those small little those small wins, like one week you'll push um, I don't know 62.5. Then the next week you'll win 60, you'll, you'll push 65. Then gradually, like this program, it's exactly the same as these programs. These programs that we're doing, is small wins every time and that creates a snowball effect. And then that's when you start getting the, the, the small wins turn into that big win that then gives you what you want. But it's gonna take time. Touch, touch, touching on that same thing right there, yeah? Everything that you just said, yeah? It's been broken down to these programs that we're doing, yeah? Yeah, the hybrid, no babies in the camp, yeah? That's it. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. You might, you might want to do three more reps. Sir. It was so hard! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Now nah, it's cool. I'm blessed though.
Right, so literally just finished on the deficit speed deadlift. So this is, it's very lightweight, 100 kilos on the bar. That, that's pretty much it. That's, we're not going any heavier than that. So this is just to work the motor patterns. So it's almost like learning how to do something and just brushing up on your skills kind of thing. So now that we've done that, we're pretty much finished. We're just going to do some hamstring curls and that's pretty much it. It's quite boring, but probably the best time because you don't have to shift heavy weight. <laughs> you know what I'm mm. All right, so that session done. We're going to go track some ideas, have a little meeting. Uh, yeah, we're going to head home.